I just landed here in the UK yesterday, literally during the middle of King Charles' coronation. And from what I've heard, the people in Northern England are a little bit less supportive of the royals than you might find in other parts of the country, especially in London and the South. And so I'm gonna walk around the neighborhood and see if people watched yesterday and what they thought of the coronation and the royal family. What's your name? My name's Phil. And how long have you lived here in Manchester or Salford? So I've lived here for 12 years now uh -huh. in here, but I've lived, other than being at university, I've lived in Manchester and Salford all my life. And what do you like about living here or being from here? I love the fact that everyone's so friendly. You can talk to anyone if you catch someone's eye. I lived yeah. in London for five years and I found it really strange that people didn't seem to like say hello or nod their heads at each other. Yeah. Whereas here everyone's so friendly, you can have a good time. There's a, like a community spirit around here. So what would you tell people that have never been to Manchester? Like what, what is a good reason to come here besides the great people? Oh, that would have been my main okay. answer, the people. <laughs> uh, also, the, not just the nightlife, but the daytime life. There's so many cafes, bars, restaurants. Even when you're quite central, like in Salford uh -huh. or Manchester, there's lots of green green areas and parks, country parks. Yeah. So there's a lot of wildlife. Oh, good. So I picked a good spot. Yeah. And are there any problems around here? Like, are there things that you would change or that the government should focus on? I don't class myself as a very political person, but I suppose there's a lot of deprivation around Salford in certain areas. Uh, I suppose people that are on benefits, I don't feel they're supported enough. Mm -hmm. Mental health as well, but I think that's the same everywhere. I just think it's way. underfunded, things like that really. Yeah. yeah. And would you, you mentioned you lived in London and then also yeah. here. Would you say that people are interested in the royals here? Or what is, because since the coronation was yeah. yesterday. <laughs> I think, I think it's a mixture, whoever you talk to. I think there's a lot of people that are monarchists and a lot that aren't, but I think people that I know that aren't monarchists, even they got kind of into it yesterday. It's uh -huh. like a historical moment, all the kind yeah. of, what do you call it? The pomp and circumstance. Yes, that's yeah. exactly the word I was looking for. Yeah. yeah, and it's a part of history, so I think, yeah, most people got into it. Did you watch but it? I did watch it and I didn't think I would. I was studying uh -huh. at the time, so I had it on in the background. Yeah. And it was quite emotional as well. Yeah. But I wouldn't class myself as a monarchist, really. Right. I, mean, I wouldn't say I follow the royals, but I did watch a lot of it. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, yeah definitely interesting. And a historical moment yeah. to be part of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck with all <laughs> of your you. studying and thanks for sharing your experience and You're perspective welcome. here. Thank you. Right. How long have you lived in Manchester? All my life. Oh, all your life. 64 years. Is it a good place to live? It was. No, oh. Not as good now. What's going on now? Deteriorating a little in the... Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think has caused that? People moving out, people moving on, and all kinds of people in and out all the time, uh -huh. you don't know, you know, so it's changed a lot. And have you lived in Salford your whole yeah. life as well? Okay. Yeah. What are some of the good parts about Salford or Manchester? Good, good for commute if you go into Manchester. Uh -huh. uh, have you been to Manchester City? Yeah, just last night. Right. Yeah. So you know it's straight on the bus there. Yeah. And right back, so that's brilliant if you like city life. Yeah. Which I did when I was younger. I know. <laughs> I, I, that's why I chose here because I'm like, yeah. it's a little bit outside of the... And it's easy yeah. for motorways to Bolton and that way. So it's the area is good. Uh-huh. Well, are, did you guys uh, watch the coronation yesterday? I did. Yeah? Did you like it? I loved it. <laughs> she wasn't too bothered, was she not? I guess it could get a little boring at times, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you say that, like, in general, you're very supportive of the royals? Um, not massively so, but I do. I am interested in watching. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. So, yeah, I watched it. My husband didn't watch it. And <laughs> I was the only one watching it, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, are you going to do any of the like events or things around? Well, there's here? Um, a party actually. I don't know if you know. There's a park today, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. 
if you keep going straight, there's a park called Light Oaks Park and uh-huh. there's a function there tomorrow. Oh, great. Um, 12 till 3. Oh, good, I'll go. That so sounds there's great. A, a picnic, if you take a picnic and there's music. Okay. It's nice in that park. I don't oh, know nice. if you fancy a walk there. It's yeah, nice. I'll definitely go. Well, that's where park. we've just been, haven't we? Oh, what lovely. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. Hopefully. You're your... welcome. Uh, what's your name? Uh, name's Jason. And uh, are you from Manchester originally? Um, Salford. Um, well, I'm okay. actually Salford. Manchester's about another three mile down the road. But yeah, I've been in uh, Salford all my life. And do you like it here? Uh, don't have many above us. Stick to myself, really. Mm-hmm. What would you say to people who've never been to this area, like in Northern England? Well, if you like football, you've got (laughs) Manchester City, you've got Manchester United, but I don't like football. Uh So there's there's plenty of parks and museums. And um, if you're into churches, there's plenty of churches. But there's there's loads to do here. There's there's all parks you can go roaming around having a look at. Oh, good. I just got a bike, so. I'll oh, go yeah, you can there. bike. Yeah. Uh, Manchester's very, very bike friendly. So, if you go to Manchester, it's very bike friendly around mm-hmm. there. And then how are you guys spending your bank holiday? I've just got, been shopping now, but I'm going to chill in yeah. a bit. Did you guys watch the coronation this weekend? Uh, it doesn't interest me. No. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't really interest me. I have heard that in uh, Northern England, it's like the royals are less popular than in other parts of the country. Would you agree? Um. It's sort of mixed, but you can you can see from the street some people have, but other people just they're not bothered at all. Yeah. But the people over the road, they've got the flags up. The flags are up here. The end of the road closed it. Uh huh. But it's like quite a few people I spoke to have just gone. I'm not bothered. Yeah. But there's a lot of negativity on Twitter, Facebook, and everybody's saying like, um, because the world's in, what should I get run over? <laughs> because the world's in such problems with. People pay people paying for food. You've got you got your food. You got your food bills, and they're spending God knows how much on doing that. Yeah, that's a good point. They could have put some of that into helping with the fuel cost, or people can't even buy food because they're too busy paying the bills. So rather than having all this slap up big um, doing that, they could have put the money into that. Yeah, that's that's what I think really. The big gold thing, which was like, ugh. yeah, the gold carriage. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I caught a little bit of the end because I was just in the taxi on the way from the airport. Oh, it, yeah. I mean, it's quite Manchester a show. Airport, yeah. But, yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks for giving me uh, some tips. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from originally? Um, so Adam's from here yeah, from originally, area, yeah. yeah. And okay. I'm from a little town called St. Helens near Liverpool. Oh, lovely. So what do you like about living in the Manchester area? Everyone's friendly. Yeah. yeah. Really friendly. Yeah. It's a good sized city, I'd say. It's not, yeah. it's not too big, not too expensive, but there's still plenty of stuff going on. There's but, really good museums. Yeah, music's good. Yeah. Um, I'm a Man United fan as well, so that's, <laughs> that's the best thing <laughs> the football. Are they playing today? They are playing later, uh, but they're playing away from home. Yeah, so I asked one guy and he's like, the game's starting, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, people are very passionate about the football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't interrupt that. No. <laughs> and did you guys watch the coronation yesterday? No, I didn't no. actually, no. We no. caught up on some highlights today, Uh huh. Um, but we didn't get involved in it at all yesterday. I was doing an exam and Adam was doing housework, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite long, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's like two or three hours. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would you say that like people generally, like I see the um, flags over there in the window, but yeah. would you say people are generally like really enthusiastic about the royals or more like... I think it depends on the age. I think yeah. older people are definitely more into it. Yeah. Um, and the area you live in. I don't think cities like Manchester, not not so much. But if you go down south to, to like the posher areas, then they're a lot more yes. into the royal family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So maybe like working class neighbourhoods, not so excited not so, about it. Yeah. Not so much. That's my general Yeah, that's what I'd it, say yeah. as well. Yeah. But then like the older generations, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like my grandma's very much a royalist, I'd oh, say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what, what about Meghan and Harry? Do you take sides in that? Or we don't different? Keep, no, no don't really. not really. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, no. No, uh, we don't care, really. Yeah. Not, the whole celebrity thing doesn't really interest yeah. me, I'll yeah. be honest. It's always in the papers in the US, so I just yeah, was no. curious. Like, yeah. But yeah, I did. They're obsessed people over there, have, I think. Most yeah. people do have opinions on it, um, but yeah, not, not really. Yeah. But I did hear that in the north, like in northern England, it's like not as big of a thing as in London, for yeah. example. Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely. Yeah. And are there any downsides to living here? Like things you would change? The weather. The weather. <laughs> yeah, it's the rainiest city in the world, I'm sure. The weather and yeah. I, 
litter as well. This is far yeah. too much litter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one thing that really annoys me. I actually was picking some up in my front yard today. Yeah, we've so. got we we've commonly well, refurbishing, some, some so that's blew into the, into oh, the garden, yeah. Right? I know it just blows in off the streets like people. It really is. We like should I've make a complaint to the government. Yeah, I yeah, know, well, yeah. Sometimes people do say to report it to the council, but I don't think it goes anywhere. Yeah, but there's a sign try. on my trash can in the front, and it says, um, "Yeah, if this bin is full, like go to this website." But it's always full, and oh. and people put their trash next to it. Yeah, like yeah. I'm like, oh, use your own trash can because it's right outside my window oh, it's no. annoying but yeah anyways what do you like about being here then for the since you've been here <laughs> well if the weather's like this every day i'll be okay yeah, no. I get your hopes up. <laughs> yeah <don't worry. laughs> um i actually came because well my ancestors are from like northern england and okay. scotland so i wanted to just explore i yeah. i have this travel channel but i've never been here i've only right. been to london and All like right. South of England, so yeah. you get a better experience of England outside of London, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But already, like last night, I went out uh, for the first time. Yeah, and. I was blown away. Like I'm from Miami oh, right. and the, oh, wow. the people are not nice there. Okay. Like I would say not friendly. And okay, where do I start? Okay, a girl came up to me and she was like, you have beautiful hair. Oh. Uh, what color is it? Can, can you give me your hairstylist <laughs> number? And I was like, well, she's in a different continent, yeah. but yeah. Quite expensive to get over there. Yeah. yeah. And just like everybody talked to me, like just not, not like guys hitting on me or yes. anything, just like yeah. talking and girls and yeah. girls with boyfriends and people yeah. are genuinely, yeah. people from the North, I find we're more intrigued by like foreign, like for example, people from America, we're, <laughs> like one of our best friends is married to an American, she's from North Carolina oh. and we find it fascinating hearing about how like different it is over there compared to here, like we're like, oh, it, Traveling an hour away, it's so far, and she's like, Jess, it's like five hours is, oh, is, yeah. is far for us. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's an hour to go anywhere there. Yeah. there. I met a girl last night. She was like, I think I should have been born American because she's like, I love hot dogs and <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> but I was like, well, I go for holiday, but not to live. Yeah. But yeah, well, I was standing at the bar, and, and a girl was standing next to me, and she was like, I was just thinking about what a nice jawline you have. Like, I was like, got the most random compliments. <laughs> and then my other friend who was there, he's like, oh yeah, that's just a compliment. Like, that's normal here. Yeah, People will just yeah. say stuff to you. Like, yeah, nice. Like, especially girls from up here, they're so nice. Like, you'll go yeah. to the bathroom and you can be gone for four hours. <laughs> You're just making best friends. Like, everyone's so friendly. <laughs> yeah. That there's a little bit more competition, I think, in Miami. It's, like, yeah. not as friendly. But, like, even the fact that um, just being to walk down, being able to walk down the street and, like, talk to strangers Aww. has been great. <laughs> no, especially if people hear you've got an American accent. We don't hear many of them around here. No. So, yeah. so no. definitely more willing to speak to you. Yeah. You guys, I can understand perfectly, but last night I was struggling a little with the music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, some very strong accents yeah. around here. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Well, this looks like a nice park. What is it called? This is Light Oaks Park. Oh, this might be where um, that they're having like a picnic here tomorrow or something. Like a yeah. community picnic. I think they do there have is, things yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. I saw they were doing something for the coronation. Yeah. I don't know oh, that's what going. it's for. Okay. Because uh, I was like, what could I do on the bank holiday? And she's like, oh, there's a picnic. <laughs> yeah. over here so i'll have to come Aww. check that out well enjoy your walk it was really nice oh, to meet you guys meet you. i might come knock and bother you another day yeah. just oh, to say hi problem. i'll bring you yeah. some wine oh, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> bye well it definitely seems like more of the people that i've talked to are less excited about the royals than being pro royal so only one of the people was actually a fan the rest were pretty indifferent about it except for phil who watched because it was a historical occasion and it was you know maybe a once in a lifetime experience and so uh, that's kind of how i felt when i was watching i'm not um someone who follows royal gossip but i did think that it was pretty stunning and intriguing to watch that ceremony i i felt a mixture of feelings during it. Part of me thought it was boring at times. Part of me thought it was impressive at times. Um, part of me kind of questioned the whole point of it at times. And I was like, why do we still have uh, these monarchies? 
And then part of me thought it must be fun to be riding down in that horse and carriage to a palace, but that's probably the fairy tale programming that we have in all of us. So I decided to come to the park today to look for that coronation picnic that my neighbor was telling me about, but I can't seem to find it. I've walked all around, so maybe it's not happening or maybe it got rained out, but either way, I'll walk around and try to talk to some locals and see what they have to say. Um, I actually came down here because I heard there was a picnic for the coronation, but it looks like maybe it got rained out or something. Did you hear um, about that? Was that? Maybe. That might have been yesterday, yeah. last today. Oh, yeah, okay. some of them had them on the Sunday, didn't they? Yeah. Did you guys watch the coronation? Yes. Yeah. yeah. How did you find it? I love it. Yeah. I, I love the old sort of the theatrical, like, you know, everything about it. Yeah. Would you say you normally like follow some of the happenings of the royals? Um, yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch it, Kath? Yeah, I watched it. I um, Yeah, I thought it was really good. I watched it with my mum, who's nearly 70, and my son, who's 19, so it was a good like, family moment. So, oh, yeah. good. Wait, so your mum would have been a baby during the so, last 1953. one? So, 1953. So she was born. So when the coronation happened, she was born. Yeah. So, yeah, the Queen got done, yeah. Well, would you say that, um, like, it made you proud to be British? Yeah, or definitely. Any other? Yeah, it's, it's always a good showcase, isn't it, for the whole world, really? I don't so, think, yeah. like, it's it, what we do best, I think. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. all, the, um, all the military operation and all that, like the soldiers yeah. in the street, no, no other country would have pulled that off. Yeah. Did you, was a Harry at the coronation? Yes. He was. I didn't see it because I flew in on the day of the coronation, so I only saw the second half. Yeah, Did they was. show him in there? Um, I didn't see much of him, but I did. When we were in Westminster, um, we was back three rows back. With our oh, main okay. Royals. Do you guys have an opinion on like the Harry and Meghan exit? Um, <laughs> I don't agree with. We have a saying. It's like you don't air your dirty laundry in public, and yeah. it's just like, oh yeah, it's too much. We don't need to know. Get on with it. Yeah, Harry did. He was my favourite royal. He really was. But then just. I don't understand why he's coming out like everyone's got a private life and it seems like he's met Meghan and he's just changed into this person and he thinks the opinion yeah. opinion and it's just like no yeah. I, I understand you've gone to America you've got a new life why do we all need to know yeah crack on with it bring your kids up be a good dad end of the whole world doesn't need to know yeah T TMI too yeah. much information yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, cheers. Thank You're you welcome. so much for sharing yeah. your local knowledge. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Are you from Salford? Originally South Manchester. Okay. I, I love living here because I find that the people of Salford are very friendly and just generally very nice people. Yeah. Would you agree, Dave? I can vouch for that because I've lived here for... 83 years <laughs> you know everyone i've talked to is like born and raised here so never. i feel like i'm in a good place <laughs> never move out <laughs> yeah no, you're, yeah you are born and bred aren't you? yeah and uh so is it a very close-knit community like does everyone know each other they do. Well, to a certain extent you know they're friendly yeah yeah yeah, yeah i find when i come in the park with my dog you're always friendly people so. just say hello and you, you tend to have park friends yeah I made a few today. <laughs> now I have some more. Have you spent much time in London or in other parts of the country? Um, not living. No. Visiting. Just visiting. Yes. Is um, Would you say that the UK is very diverse, like from north to south? Is it, does yes. it feel like a different country? Yes. Northerners yeah. are more friendly than the southerners. Okay. So, I have been told that. And did you guys watch the coronation yes, this weekend? Yes. Yeah? How did you feel about it? Oh, yes. I'm very much a royalist. I, uh -huh. think, uh, I think he'll make a good king. Maybe not for too long because he's older, the oldest king there's ever been. Yeah. yeah. I know. But he's then again his son. William, he will take over and he'll, yeah. him and his family will be absolutely brilliant. Yeah. What was your favourite part about the ceremony or the whole thing? Well, I personally liked the concert last night. <laughs> last the night? Show, last night, yeah, there was a big Did you see the concert last no. night? No. Uh, was it here? Oh, oh you missed that. Yeah, it was get... at, um, where, he, where oh. was it? Windsor Castle. Was it on TV? Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle. Yeah. Yes, it was on TV. Oh, okay. On TV. BBC yeah, One yeah, can... for two hours. Yeah. Oh, okay, I could probably find it. Fantastic acts. <laughs> Lionel Richie was on and oh, really? Katie Lovely. Perry, isn't it? Katie yeah. Perry. Okay, I'll have Take to watch that. it. Take that, I don't even know these. I don't, I don't know many of the songs, but... No. 
And well, how do you feel then about Harry kind of leaving the royal family? Or oh, sad. sad yeah. Yeah. Very sad because I really liked her. Yeah. Do you have an opinion on Megxit? Megxit. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she was the right woman for him, truly. But he's got a family now, hasn't he? Yeah. And there's no way in a million years, even if the marriage broke, he would leave his children. Yeah. Do you think there's hope for reconciliation with his dad and brother? Oh, I wish. I wish there was. Eventually, they might do. They might. I really do wish there was. At the moment, it's just a lot gone under the bridge now, aren't they? Yeah. Before they can get back to. Well, having such life experience, um, what? What advice would you have for people that maybe are in like a, like a situation, like a problems with someone or argument? I would say to them, life is short and to fall out with your family is the biggest fallout really. And make up, make up. Make amends. Make and amends. Move on. Good advice. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy your walk. Yeah. And like in the mechanics, the living years. Have you heard of it? No. The what? Yeah, it's a song called The Living Years. The Living Years. By Mike and the Mechanics. Okay, I'll look it up. Yeah, you got you'll know it All now. Right. <laughs> and li listen to that song because it's so meaningful. Okay, I'm gonna look it up when I get home. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. I was a bit Bye, dubious at first. <laughs> I'm just a normal person. Oh, no, no. You'll be very happy. And see Thank you, you. Thank you. I hope I'll see you in the park. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Well, one thing's for sure, the people are very friendly around here. And I don't think that's just Salford, but it's probably all of Manchester and the north of England. I mean, there's nice people wherever you go when you travel, but there's definitely a community feel here and it's just very laid back and I really like it. And there's an ice cream truck. Um, but it does seem that the more people that you talk to, the more opinions you get and the more royalists and royal supporters you will find. So even though people told me that in the north, people aren't as interested in the royal family, I did find that about half of the people that I talked to watched the coronation and were very supportive. So. But what do you think? Did you watch the coronation? Were you a fan or not? Let me know in the comments below and click over here for more videos talking to locals in different countries.